a really quick overview of clicker training. The training techniques we feature are based on positive reinforcement. You'll see we often use a clicker while working with our dogs. Here are some basic tips to keep in mind if you're new to clicker training. The clicker is used to tell the dog exactly what behavior you like as it is occurring, and it also lets the dog know a reward is coming. Behaviors that are reinforced are more likely to be repeated in the future. Do your best to click the instant the behavior occurs, then deliver the reward within a second after clicking. Just be sure the click comes first before delivering the reward. Each time you click, a reward should always follow. If you are new to this, you can hone your timing skills before you work with your dog. For instance, a training assistant can drop an object and your job is to click the instant it hits the ground. The assistant then gives you feedback on whether the click was early, on time, or late. Practice your clicker skills in a variety of training setups that don't include your dog. Once your timing is improved, then you can work with him. There are many good books and videos available on clicker training, including the Bow Wow trick training videos. We suggest you research the topic in more detail if this is new to you. The Scoop on Rewards Let's talk about the different rewards you can use while training. Typically, food treats are very powerful rewards. In fact, some dogs will happily work for their regular kibble. Since there's no rule that says a dog must eat out of a bowl, you can use some or all of his meals for training. Some dogs are fussy, so really delicious treats are in order, like freeze-dried liver, cheese, hot dogs, or roast chicken. If your dog is overweight, a reduction in his daily food intake will be good for his health and may also increase his motivation to work for treats. Find four or five different treats your dog really loves so you have an interesting mix to use. Make treats small so he doesn't fill up on them too fast. Soft treats are usually better than hard ones because they can be eaten quickly. Finally, the tougher the training situation, the better the food should be. Look what we have, you guys. Abracadabra. But treats are just the beginning, so please take note of this important training tip. Make a list of the things your dog really enjoys doing and use these activities as rewards while training. It's a great way to motivate your dog and it quickly reduces your reliance on food. These activities are often called life rewards. Here are a few examples. Chasing a toy or playing tug. We suggest you keep the two best toys tucked away and just bring them out for training. The chance to greet another person or dog. Good, you can visit now. That's nice. Permission to exit a crate or pass that through a doorway. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's go in. The chance to go for a walk or a car ride. Very good boy. Go on. Yep. Go. Hop. Petting, body scratches, and praise. Once you identify your dog's favorite activities, control his access to them to maximize their value during training. The result is a dog that's highly motivated to work for you, which is every trainer's dream. You will become the magician who delivers good things each time he responds correctly. This is such a powerful tool, so don't let it go to waste.